Hey there guys, my name is Brandon, aka Suns Geek, and if it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. That is right, you guys, we got a little bit of Phoenix Suns news today to talk about, but before we get started, make sure to Hulk smash that like button, and please subscribe for everything Phoenix Suns. If it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. Let's dive right into the video. That is right, you guys, it is being reported that Etwan Moore is signing a one-year deal with the Orlando Magic. It is a veteran's minimum contract. Etwan Moore averaged five points per game, one and a half assists, and about 14 and a half minutes per game last season with the Phoenix Suns, but he struggled to hit the three, only shooting 31%, and he only saw seven games of action during the Phoenix Suns NBA Finals run. And in my opinion, you guys, Etwan Moore would be a very good veteran and a really hard worker for a very young yet kind of confusing Orlando Magic team. I mean, the Orlando Magic are kind of a weird team. They're they're moving on from the post Nikola Vucevic era. They're a rebuilding team. They have a lot of young and exciting talent, but in my opinion, I really don't feel like they have an identity. I mean, they got Cole Anthony, Jalen Suggs, Mo Bamba, Markel Fultz, RJ Hampton, Jonathan Isaac, and that's just to name a few. They have a lot of guards on this team. So I really don't know why Etwan Moore took this deal. I mean, maybe he wants to compete for more playing time, but you're going to a team full of young guards. Maybe he wants just more of an opportunity, or maybe James Jones just said, look, man, we're moving on from you. I I don't know. I just know this about Etwan Moore. He had a game-winning shot against the San Antonio Spurs in the final Phoenix Suns game of the season. Zion Williamson loves him. He said a really good quote about Etwan Moore, saying something along the lines that like Etwan Moore is the kind of player who will not play for like three to four games, but he stays ready at any given moment. So he's going to be a good mentor for this young Orlando Magic team. And we wish you the best, man. Good luck in the future. And continuing on with the Phoenix Suns news, JaVale McGee was interviewed by Arizona Sports, and he talked about how he envisioned himself on the Phoenix Suns while watching the NBA Finals. He said that he was at Game 2 in Phoenix. He also talked about a lot of other stuff, but he was talking about the Phoenix Suns in the NBA Finals, and here's what he had to say. He said, and I quote, just from look at last year, they made it to the finals. So obviously they can do it, he said. I feel like that piece of confidence in all these young guys is going to grow and grow and grow because most of these guys are extremely young. So you're like, oh, wow, they're making it to the finals at this young age. They're getting it at this age. I've always liked JaVale McGee. Even when he was like the Shaq in the Fool MVP, he was always one of my favorite players in the league. Don't forget that the guy's won like three championships before, so he's got experience. He just won a gold medal with Devin Booker. I think he's going to be a great asset to this team. And the last bit of Phoenix Suns news, you guys, is that Devin Booker is on his third cover of Slam Magazine. That is right, you guys. I will leave the link down below in the description for the full article. Make sure to go out and buy this new Slam Magazine. I own this one. I don't have the second one, but I definitely want to buy this new one. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Brandon, a.k.a. Suns Geek, and if it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. Make sure to Hulk smash that like button, and please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is right, you guys. It is being reported that Etwan Morris signed a one-year deal with the Orlando's Mad... With the... <laughs>